just get the wrong around. Wham bam, Kapow, who's gonna help us now? <laughs> Call the feds, the people cry, these bad guys got no alibi. Is there a crime buster in the house? Call for Elliot Mouse. No baloney, this guy's no phony, honest to the bone. Step on the gas mask, trap that bad guy, Al Capone. Well, hello there, Tom. No one walks these streets at night. The sirens wail and bullets fly. We need a little justice now. Call for Elliot Mouse. We live in fear of cheese racketeers. in the sky. But we've got tough guys on our side. So kiss your kids goodbye. Incredible. Incredible. Unbribable. Unbribable. The untouchable. The untouchable. Chicago. Rival gangs of hoodlums in Chicago were constantly fighting each other as well as the police force, which left the citizens in peril. This dangerous atmosphere had even attracted the attention of the major film studios in Mousywood, such as Paramouse, 20th Century Dog, and Metro Goldwyn Meow. And it was in Mousywood that the first gangster movies were being made. One of these studios, wanting to make its film as true to life as possible, decided to shoot it in Cheese Cargo itself. And it was to star the beautiful Rita Mouseworth, an actress who had recently been awarded a cheddar by the Film Academy. She arrived in Cheese Cargo accompanied by Bushy Siegel, a gangster from New Gruyere who loved hanging out with all the stars. His presence in Cheese Cargo came to the attention of Elliot Mouse. Close but discreet surveillance would be used to prevent any possible disturbance in public. Ah, welcome. Welcome, madame. Uh, hey, over here, son. Be careful not to touch any buttons on the dashboard. It could be dangerous. Yes, sir. Whatever you say. Hey, Deborah, I've heard they do a great three-cheese fondue in this restaurant. Nice, huh? <laughs> it sure is, and I'm looking forward to trying that fondue. Hey! What's up? <laughs> hey, this really is some kind of swell joint. Don't you think? Very romantic. And what exactly did you invite me out for, Elliot? Well, for a long time I've wanted to show my appreciation for everything you've done for the Untouchables. Oh, but, great. Huh? So I'm only invited oh. here out of gratitude. It ain't that, Deborah. It's just that I feel I... Your three cheese fondue, monsieur, madame. Please allow me. Great, I just can't wait to try it. Come on, Deborah, we can't let it go cold. Don't worry, Elliot, the fondue won't get cold. It's got a burner underneath it, so you can continue with what you were saying. Oh, yeah, I knew that. I mean, yeah, of course. Oh. Huh? Huh? Look, isn't that, um... Yeah, Rita Mouseworth in the flesh. Wow. What's going on over there? It's only some huh? movie star who's just arrived in the city and wearing huh? too much makeup, if you ask me. What would Sarah like tonight? The usual. Of course. The most expensive dish you got here. The caviar we had yesterday, all right? Beluga caviar avec bleu. And bring plenty of it. Nothing but the best for my girl. Sure huh? thing, oh, honey. <laughs> Always the best. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. My piece of bread fell into the pot, Deborah. Well, there's a custom in this restaurant. The first person to lose their piece of bread in the fondue has to invite the other one out to dinner. Well, I don't think I'll have any problem with that. And just maybe you'll pay attention to me then. What are you talking about, Deborah? I'm giving you my full attention. I wouldn't, <laughs> huh? Cut the soft cheese, Elliot. Ever since that Mousywood broad arrived in here, you haven't been able to take your eyes off of her. Yeah, well, you know, it's not often you get a chance to see a film star like Rita Mouseworth close up. It's natural to be curious. Excuse me, ladies and gents, I hate to interrupt. I'm looking for Mr. Pushy Sego. <gasps> Hey, I'm Bushy Siegel. Who wants me? Well, I got a message for you from Al Capone. Welcome to Cheese Cargo. Huh? Oh. Oh. All right. Huh? Oh. Oh. Hey! Oh. Eat play! Oh, no! Oh. 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 O
Hey, hey, it burns! Ow! Huh? Huh? Hey, what happened? Who took my car? Oh, the valet parked it. I never told the stupid kid to park it. He ran round to the parking lot, hey, sir. I ain't parked it yet. Get off of my car, you <laughs> stupid! Up you come, are you okay? Oh, don't worry about me, sir. I managed to take down the hey, license plate. Hey, that was smart thinking. What's happening, Elliot? One of Alcatone's stooges tried to put a hit on Bushy Seagull, and he got away. But where were you fellas? Watching the back door of the restaurant. Well, let's go inside and ask some questions. Where's Gordon? Where do you think? He's inspecting the kitchens. Congratulations, chef. The cheese sauce is exquisite. It's all right. Calm down, honey. It's all over. FMI, you need some assistance, ma'am? Uh, no thanks, Agent. The lady's fine. Tell him, dollface. Yes, I'm fine! Gordon, what are you doing here? How did you get to the restaurant so quickly? Huh? You mean Elliot didn't say anything to you about helping out with our stakeout? About helping out with what, Gordon? We're keeping this guy Siegel under surveillance. That's what we're all doing here. Look, here come the others now. I'm sorry our evening got interrupted like this, Deborah. I was having such a good time. Oh, huh? Hero! What, what the? Oh, huh? you saved my life! Oh, what? Hold me tightly! I don't know. Uh, my sweet baby! Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, calm down, miss. You and your friend should report this to the police station. No, thanks, mister. I don't like spending too much time in police stations, see? Huh? So I will come with you, my knight in shining uh, armor. Uh, I will go with you to the ends oh, of the earth if uh, necessary, uh, my uh, darling. Don't get any ideas about using me again. Goodbye. What's got into her? Why is she so angry all of a sudden? Oh, who knows? I really don't have any idea, really. Come on, Gordon. Well, I may have let it slip that she was here to help us out, Wilson. I've checked the files and license number 5846 belongs to Doc Moran's car. Hmm. First, an unknown gunman uses Catone's name in front of a room full of witnesses. But Catone would never let any of his thugs implicate him, and the guy was a stranger. That's right, Gordon, and now it turns out that the car this would-be assassin used belongs to Doc Moran. It don't make sense at all. Maybe Moran did it to try and get Catone the blame for the shooting. But uh -huh. Jack, in that case, why would he use his own car? Well, maybe you can clear it up, Mr. Siegel. The attack was made against you. Do you know anybody who wanted you out of the way? I don't even know these guys. Only when I read about them in the New Groyon newspapers, this is my very first time in Chicago. You can check. Well, if it's your first time, you've made some very dangerous enemies very quickly, man. The attacks were definitely aimed at you, Mr. Siegel, no matter what you say. The best thing you could do is head back to New Gruyere immediately. All right, I'll do it. I'll take the first train back to New Gruyere, just to show you I don't want any trouble. Huh? Oh! Hey, 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 whoa! I can't leave Cheese Cargo till I finish the movie! Who'll protect me? Will you stay beside me, Elliot? I'm sorry, I have other official responsibilities, Miss Mouseworth. Call me Rita, and please say you'll never leave me, Elliot. Well, okay, we'll accompany you to the film set. Who'd have thought in such a cold city I'd find the flame of true love? <clears throat> We've arrived. This is quite some hot rod you got here, mister. Uh, what make is it exactly? Mine, I designed it myself. How much do you want for it? It's not for sale. So build me one. No! Well, if it's a question of money, friend, I can give you any price you ask for. Let's go, Mr. Siegel. The Cheese Cargo Express leaves in one hour and 16 minutes. All right, all right. What the? All right, then, you cheese balls. This is it. Showdown. Urgh. Try and set a trap for us, would you, Ansel? Me, well, trap this! Uh. Not forgetting your friends! Uh. And you two, get uh. your hands up and don't budge your neck! Uh. Yeah, yeah, all right, but we haven't done anything. What's going on, Gordon? I caught him red-handed, Elliot. Looks like they were planning something against that bushy fella. What are you talking about, you dumb fed? We only came here because they wanted some tough guys to be in their film. Fantastic. Uh. That's what I call a tough guy. Wouldn't you agree with me, Mr. Stronghead? Yeah, we think alike for once, Hamster. I want him. You want me in a film? That's right. Allow me to introduce myself. Dashiell Hamster, the writer of this movie, and you'd be perfect for the plot of Scratch Face. Chief Gangster, that will be you. Me play a gangster? No way. Yeah, you gotta be kidding. He ain't got no experience. We're the ones who should play that. Don't you got nothing for us, not even his cups? Hey, it doesn't seem like such a bad idea to me, Gordon. While you're here, you can keep all the rotten apples in one barrel. Yeah, Would but I it? don't want to dress up as a gangster. Not huh? again. Oh, huh? stop complaining, yeah, Gordon. On. This is only make-believe. Well, I still don't like it. Gentlemen, we can leave for the station whenever it suits you. I've put my luggage in a car already. Okay, let's get to the station. 
Okay, sweetie. You're leaving, but Miss Bosworth, it's time for your makeup. Rita, I think you should stay here and try to carry on. But Elliot, what will happen to me all by myself? You'll have Gordon to protect oh. you. At least promise me that you'll come back. As soon as I can, I promise. I'll see you later. Goodbye, my guardian angel. My heart aches for your speedy return. Well, there goes our problem. I'm not sure, Jack. I get the feeling that this ain't over yet. What makes you say that? Well, he's too calm for a guy who's just faced death. I think we'd better keep our eyes peeled for anything suspicious and see who makes a move, okay? I'll make sure that Nitty and Cotone are under control. I got Moran, okay? Okay, then, that's settled, and Gordon can keep an eye on those thugs down on the film set. Oh, I guess that means I'll have to take charge of Miss Mouseworth. It seems like Elliot's got the hardest job of all, right, Wilson? Yeah, he sure has! <laughs> <laughs> I got you, Dolores. Oh, Frankie, my hero, you saved my life. Oh, hold me tightly. Frankie, my brave boy. Oh, cut it, yeah? Good. Oh, Elliot! So did you see it? How was I, Elliot? What did you think? You were great, but I've seen that act somewhere before. I've finished for today. Wait until I change. Then you can take me out somewhere nice. Okay, sure. Come along, everyone, to their places. We have another scene to shoot. Hey, Elliot. Hey, everyone, take cover. Ah, come on, Elliot. Don't get the cheese up. It's me, Gordon. Gordon, hey, what's happened to you? What have you been up to? It's okay, Elliot, my friend. It's only makeup, and my director says it will add to my characterization. What do you think of that, huh? Yeah, it does give you a certain character. Yeah, right, the character of a hoodlum. Everyone's nuts around here, Elliot. I don't understand film people. I gotta go and read it. I'll just find us a cab. Where were you taking me on our first date, Elliot? I happen to know a great little club where my friends are waiting for us. With your friends? That doesn't sound romantic. Here's a present for you. Ah! It's a grenade! Huh? Huh? Get down! Ah! Are you all right, Rita? OK, here you go. Oh, Elliot, I'm scared. Don't worry, it's over now, and I've got a good idea who that car belongs to. Just as I thought. Ah, Monsieur Elliot, welcome, welcome. We have not seen you here for an age. Tell me, Pierre, who's honoring us with their presence tonight? Who's the one with the car? That is Monsieur Nitti's car, but please come in and have a wonderful time. Sorry, I'm pleading guilty. Love made a rat out of me. I'm telling you, love. I got a score to settle with, Rat Nitty. Right, Nitty, I'm gonna settle with you once and for all. Yeah, what are you doing? Hey, let go! Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. What's going on over there? It looks like a fight. What? Hmm. That's yeah. for Rita. That's yeah. for me. What's going on? Hold it, Elliot. What's got into you? Calm down, will you? What do you think you're doing? I do not allow brawling, Mr. Mouse. How dare you start a fight in my club? This rat thing threw a grenade at us a few moments ago. It can't have been Nitty Elliot. I've been keeping him under surveillance. I haven't taken my eyes off him, and he hasn't left his club all evening. That's right. I'm also a witness. It couldn't have been Moran, either. He had a fight with a guy in his pool hall, and the guy made him swallow the eight ball. So he huh? was in no condition to go anywhere. Hmm. In fact, Moran's in the hospital right now to have the eight ball removed. Huh? It's OK. Oh, are you you are right, Nitty. Huh? Oh, sure, kid, it weren't nothing. If this is how you're gonna pay attention to me, he can hit me again. And when exactly did you become a gangster's nurse? Mr. Needy huh? and I have a date to go out together after the show, if it's any of your business. What? You mean you're thinking of going out with that cheese ball? So now you think you have the right to tell me who I can and can't go out with? That's not what I'm saying, Deborah, and you know it. I just don't think you show very good taste, that's all. Boy, that's rich coming from you seeing the harpy you've got on your arm. How dare you talk to me like that, Blondie? Rita Mouseworth doesn't take that kind of talk from 
anyone, least of all a cheap nightclub huh? singer. Huh? Take that! Ooh. Hey, stop Ooh. that! Ooh. Come on! I gotta on. get you, you little <laughs> witch! <laughs> They insured me for several million cheese dollars! Are you people gonna leave my club or do I have to call the police? Please, don't do that, Madame Deborah. These are our friends, remember? Well, let's go, fellas. We got something important to discuss, and I don't trust this place or the kind of clientele they got here. So the beneficiary of your policy is the film studio itself? Yeah, to cover any losses they might have if something happened to me. Friends, I think we've been mistaken from the beginning, but now I know that the object of all these attacks has been Reader herself. So the attack on Bushy Siegel and attempts to implicate Katona and Moran were to put us off the scent. Exactly, I think the studio's behind the whole thing, and I'm betting they want to cash in Reader's insurance policy. I don't get it. Why would they want to claim Reader's insurance when they could make a lot more money with us starring in the movie? That's something we're gonna have to find out if we're gonna prove it. We need to prove they wanted her out of the way, but you can leave that to me, Elliot. I got a feeling I know where I can get all the information necessary. In the meantime, Jack and I will stick with Rita. With the help of Scratchface Gordon, we'll have her under protection all the time. I can't wait to see how Gordon's coming on as an actor. I stand here, that right? Yeah, yeah, that is perfect. Und with a little vin, we will make it even more dramatical, yeah? Ah, uh, now look here, Mr. Stronghead. None of this is in the script. I didn't write a word of it. Yeah, I know this blind making the change to make the story more profound. I wish to show the terrible loneliness of power. So if you have no further objections... Go, win machine, on action! Here we go, dead end street, scene 27, take one. Cheese is the root of all power. To have it or have it not, that is the question. Whoa there! Cut, cut, cut! The fan must blow softer and it's a fin, not a hurricane. Okay, give it some more cheese, on we go again! Right, here we go again. Dead end street, scene 27, take two. Action! The root of all power. To have cheese or not to have cheese, that is the question. Cut! You ain't too early! Bring more cheese! Yeah, Johnny, yeah, sure. Thanks, I got that. Hey, thanks for the information, kid. I owe you one. I think I may have something for you, Wilson. Rita Mouseworth's last two films bombed at the box office, and the film studio's practically gone broke. That help? So Elliot was right, and that explains why they want to collect Rita's insurance policy. So all we gotta do is find out who owns the film studios, and then we got our man. Any news on that, Tino? It's all here. Just take a look. Of course! Why didn't I think of that before? I'm going to the train station. Hey, wait up. I'm coming with you. You promised me an exclusive on this, remember? Dead End Street, scene 27, take 93. Uh, to have cheese or not to have power, that Stop is... Stop! Enough! I can't take any more. On to the next scene, everyone! Shouldn't we at least try it again? We must shoot the next scene of the film. Everyone get ready. Say, buddy, what do they do with all the cheese that's been bitten? Ready for you now, Miss Mouseworth. Okay, they're calling me onto the set, so I better get going now, Rita. Do you think they might possibly take me for you? I guess anything's possible, but I always do dangerous scenes myself. Why should today be the first time I use a double? Because they're using a gun in this scene, and I've got a feeling someone might try and bump you off again, and I don't want that to happen. But won't I be in greater danger if I stay here all by myself? Don't worry. See ya. Now, here's how it goes. Uh, listen. Scratchface runs down the alley with the girl. You tell him to stop, but he pulls a gun. 
On Sir, you open fire. Scratch face with a last desperate act of courage, throws himself between the girl and the bullets in order to save her life. Okay, so everyone positions, please. Let's make this a doozy. Wait up, Gordon. We don't want anything going wrong. Have you checked the weapons? Of course, they've all got starting pistols except for me, so if anyone starts anything, then they're gonna be in for a big surprise. Good. Uh. Everyone in position, stop the fan. Now. Okay, here we go. Dead end street, scene four to five, take one. Please, get your hands up, you no good gangster. Ooh, don't shoot, don't shoot. Not you, dummy. You're playing a cop, remember? We're the good guys. Oh, yeah, sure. I guess I just forgot. Ha! Stay back. You'll never take me alive, you dumb flatfoot. Thank you. I hate huh? being shot at, even with blanks. Hey, relax, Elliot. Those ricochets are only firecrackers stuck in the wall. Huh? Look out, everyone! Cut! Cut! Am I going crazy? I did not ask for feathers! Huh? There he is, Gordon. It's okay, I see him. This is a job for you, ball. Go get him! Okay, get up, wise guy. You're coming with me. You're under arrest for attempted murder. Uh, hey, I thought we were supposed to say that, huh? Shut up, moron. This ain't part of the movie. Okay, tough guy. You're gonna tell us who you're working for. Huh? huh? Hold it right there. Don't take another step, Flatfoot. It's Bushy Siegel. Yeah, you guys ruined everything with your interference. But don't you think I'm gonna let you get away with it, Mr. Mouse? This way, Mr. Siegel. Huh? Photo for the press, please. Right there. Ah. Ah. I got a couple of things to put to you, Mr. Siegel. My right fist and then my left fist. About time, I was wondering when I was gonna get some action. Just in time, my hero. <laughs> I thought I was gonna miss all the fun. Siegel never left Cheese Cargo at all. He got off at a stop in the suburbs. Huh? Oh. oh! Oh, my brain, oh. brain boy, you saved my life! Oh! Oh, oh, uh, calm down, miss, please. Uh, oh. Bushy Siegel himself is the owner of the film studios, and he wanted to collect on Rita Mouseworth's insurance so he could recover the losses he made with her other films. Will someone get her off of me, please? Come on, guys, help me. Help! Help! Please! Help! Well, goodbye, my friends. It's been a wonderful experience, and thanks to you, I've been able to finish my movie. Also, I must say, your terrible acting forced me to cut scene 27 altogether. It doesn't matter. It's better like that, just as I wrote it. Goodbye, my friend, and thank you. Huh? Mm -hmm. Goodbye, my knight in shining armor. I'll never forget you. Uh, yeah. Thanks a lot, Miss Mouseworth. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Goodbye now. Hey, now look who's coming our way. Hello, Elliot. Pierre convinced me that I should come and apologize to you after acting so badly. No, Deborah, not at all. It's me who should be the one apologizing. And by the way, I still think I owe you a dinner, so would you care to accompany me to the fondue door this evening? You got it, Elliot, but on one condition, that while we're there, you promise not to run out on any special mission. You got a deal. And that's how the Untouchables solved a very tricky case and put Bushy Siegel behind bars where he belonged. But they still had a difficult job ahead as Siegel was wanted by the police in New Gruyere. Soon our friends Elliot, Jack, Gordon, and Mr. Wilson will have to escort that enemy of decency to his trial. But that's another story. Catch it later. In the next Runaway episode, Elliot faces the most powerful crime syndicate in the world, the Black Paw. The combined firepower of all the dark forces of evil are used to try to spring Bushy Siegel from prison. Elliot devises a plan to put the criminals on the wrong track. Will the Cheese Cargo Express make it to the end of the line? Or is this the platform on which Gatone will build a new criminal empire? Book your ticket and climb aboard for the next adventure of Elliot Mouse and the Untouchables! Thank <laughs> you.